I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee ready to reward his supporters once again here tonight. So here is the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. It wasn't all that long ago that he beat Alexander Volkov, had won nine of 10, and earned a title shot against you in New York City. Derek Lewis back on the grind here tonight. Derek Lewis is a beast and one of the strongest guys that I have ever felt inside of the octagon. Every time his punches land, you can feel this unbelievable thud up against your head in the body and everything he does, it is just absolute power. He's a very, very good athlete, as he shows with these double kicks that he always likes to throw up. Derek Lewis, when you win nine out of 10 fights, you're a monster. And he is on paper one of the more prolific knockout artists this division historically has ever seen. The Black Beast, ready to get back to it here tonight. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Good. Well, it may not be tabbed Fight Island any longer, but it is still a major destination for the UFC. Great to be with you tonight from the Eddie Hot Arena in Abu Dhabi, where a lot of high-level fighters are set to compete. It's going to be a great night. Every time we come here to Abu Dhabi, the fights are absolutely fantastic. Let's see if the fight tonight can live up to what we have seen up to this point from the Serena. That was a big check. High volume on both sides, and both of these guys are giving it as good as they're taking. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on draw. These guys said, that they were going to point to the center of the octagon and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. 
Oh, nice work on the feet there by the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Really picking his spots in the stand-up here tonight. That's something his head coach, four ounces, Bob Perez, talked a lot about here during fight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. Big knee there. Oh, another huge knee. That's a good kick by him right there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Massive head kick. Huge kick lands again. He didn't like that. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Trying to finish this fight. Back to his feet. Oh, huge spinning kick. Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent is recovered. recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Gotta love how it's playing out between these two offensively minded fighters early. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Good inside leg kick. What a Lands a beautiful strike on the ball. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this play. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Been busy now connecting with those punches. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Lee. In position for a submission attempt here. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. He's got it isolated, working toward the finish. Oh, good defense, yes. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. Oh. He landed a good uppercut there. Huh. Stop, stop, stop. Round two coming up next. Heading back to the corner now. Lewis's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got blocked. Crowd going. Oh, man! Lit up right now, John. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, oh, big elbow. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. 
He is pushing at his... Oh! Flying knee to the head! Oh, big knee! Lewis gets back up here. Whips on the straight right hand. The strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, his right eye keeps taking hurt again. Very nice leg kick there by Lish. And that one certainly found the target. So fighter with open stun, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Really good body kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Collar tie here in the clinch. Get off. Oh! 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 Big, big strikes continue to land. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Lewis's tie appears to be closing up by the second. That is tight, could be the beginning of the end. And now he's got the bat. Can't get it, good awareness by the defensive fighter. Still trying to get the submission here. He is fighting for the sub. Got him softened up here. Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Beautiful transition. The way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Attempting a choke now. Yep, that gets he's deep. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fights. Oh! Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling, because this guy is getting pieced up. Oh, huge elbow! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Wow, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. It's broken, I think. Good round. Oh. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Lee's eye is really in rough shape at this point in time. Completely swollen shut. We'll see if the cut man can do anything about it, but I would not be surprised to see the doctor stop the fight here between rounds. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, 
Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Oh! He's wobbling now. A big knee! As his opponent postures up, he opens it. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, you really hope that damage like this doesn't stay with him throughout his mixed martial arts career, but I'd be okay with not seeing him take another head strike at this point. No, it's okay. So Lewis is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks like... Oh, he got out! Great defense by this fighter. Gotta be careful, Omar. Arms in deep. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Takes his back now. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Good work, guys. Come on. Lewis is going for a choke here. He's got it very tight. Working hard to finish this rear naked choke. He's doing a really good job of trying to get that choke arm under the neck. Then he'll lock his hands to get that finish. Continuing to work for a submission here. He's gonna have to fight to get this in. Oh, he escapes! There goes another one, and once again, he just bats it away. Great submission defense. A uh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated... Well, well, that swelling is getting out of control to that end. You see the referee has paused the action, likely to call on the doctor. We'll see if this fight can continue, champ. Well, it's so noticeable. You got to check on it. You got to make sure that this fighter is able to continue. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I love it when you <laughs> let it continue, especially when you have a fight that has been as fun as this one to this point. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited to see. Big side on the green. Wow! Now he's back up. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, oh look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Under 90 seconds to go. Side control now. Lewis is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with him. Oh, that's a pretty slick reversal right there. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, he's got his back. He's got to get him in the air to try to return him to the match. Oh, man, he's got his back against the side of the octagon. He needs to isolate a hip to try to peel those hands and break that lock. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.
The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of